The Aurora Boxing Club, a nonprofit member of the Illinois Boxing Association, helps to provide success to high-risk youth, not only in amateur boxing, but as productive members of society. It was founded in 1980 by Sergio Martinez until it closed after four short years due to financial restraints. In 1988, coach Romero Ramos reopened the club. I was a boxer myself many months ago. When I stopped being a boxer, uh, I take a few months off, and then I decided that I want to help my coach. Uh, I decided to open my own club, you know, and I told my coach, I said, you know what, because he decided that he don't want to do it no more, so I asked him I want to start my own club, but I want to use the same name of the Aurora Boxing Club. Unfortunately, the club closed again in 1997 due to the facility being sold. The club reopened once again in 2007 with Romero as the head coach and Raul Diaz as the president. I've been with the club since I was seven, so I'm 36, so it's been a long time. I started with this as a boxer. I had over 150 amateur fights, five times Golden Globe champion. I went to the Nationals three times. In 95, I was a runner-up in the Nationals, and that's like the biggest event besides the Golden Globes. Being the president, it's a... Uh, it's a big challenge because I have to go like to the city and to different parts. I go to meetings and I, I give them a presentation of what we do and what we're about, you know. And what, what I really like is that I can help the kids, you know. I can help them get out of the streets. I can, I can show them, you know, the stuff that sh the, they show me, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that I'm doing this and I, I love this. So this is my life. Volunteer coaches also put their time into helping with the lessons. I like to work out, stay in shape, try to give back to the community because I was probably taken away from it at a young age. Probably wasn't the best role model, so I try to come in here and be a good role model to these kids. A friend of mine, he used to box, so that's kind of how I got into it. I think I was at a bar one time and got in a fight and I got hit like 20 times before I knew what was going on. I'm like, okay, this ain't cool. So, I mean, that's honestly what what got me to, to check it out. But uh, these guys have, you know, um, Romero and Raul, I mean, they've, they've done a lot more than, than I have. We have kids from a seven-year-old until uh, the program is for seven years to 18. But uh, if they turn 19 or 20 and 21, if they want to keep staying with us, they can stay with us, you know. We teach them uh, discipline, you know. We teach them how to, how to box. We run for like nine minutes. Then we start uh, uh, doing the punching bags. I mean, everything as far as uh, exercise, you know. And if some of the kids don't want to compete, you know, they don't have to compete, you know. We just, as long as they stay in shape, you know, we'll keep them in shape. We do uh, uh, the, what they call punch mitts. We work out the punch mitts. Some kids spar, they do their sparring. And uh, we go to the jump rope. Uh, we go to the abdominal benches. Uh, and uh, we got a few old bikes there. Everything, all bikes in there, they've been donated by people, uh, second-hand stores, you know, and uh, we do a lot of work, you know. Uh, in two hours, the kids are exhausted, you know, so they, they, they get in shape. When you can take a kid that listens to you and, you know, you see him do something and he gets it and it clicks in his head and then all of a sudden he understands it, um, you know, it's, it's, it's gratification to me. That okay, and then you know some of these kids. If it wasn't for boxing or something, God knows what they'd be doing. Amateur boxing is a healthy discipline for today's youth. It impacts a variety of constructive behaviors and attitudes, which are fundamental elements for success. We don't tell these kids to go out in the street and start beating people up, but you know it's when they're in here and they learn it, and they learn okay, you know this it's a discipline. It's something that you got to learn. It's a skill. It's not something to go out there and impose it on somebody that doesn't want it. I wish there was more people that, you know, that did what we, we do, you know, to get rid of all the gangs, all the bad things that happen in the street, you know. As long as we keep the kids busy, you know, 
That's our main objective, you know, to keep them out of the street.